What's going on, everybody? It is lunchtime at Rec Tech. We've got a little special, special live broadcast for y'all. We hope that everybody's healthy and eating well. And here, with no further ado, here is Chef Greg and Jody. Man, hitting them with it hard. That's an introduction. Quick, right fast, there. and early. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> we hope you are enjoying your time with your family. If you're there, we hope you're enjoying your time at work. If you're at work, we're going to introduce a new segment uh, every day at 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard right here on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page. We're going to try to entertain you a little bit. Uh, so if you're stuck at home, make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. That way you can uh, kind of join us for lunch. Join us for lunch, absolutely. And uh, separate yourself from what else is going on in the United States right now. Definitely. And maybe you got some questions about what you're making for dinner tonight. Maybe you're going to dust off some stuff in the pantry and have some questions. Feel mm -hmm. free to ask mm -hmm. us. We're more than happy to help you out. I'm sure between the three of us, we can come up with some pretty good ideas uh, based on what's in your pantry. Hey, absolutely. And that's a great idea, Greg. Maybe we should ask everybody. Uh, maybe name one thing that you have in your freezer that you absolutely positively know that you have in there mm -hmm. and that you are going to cook in the future. And uh, we will give you some ideas for that today. That's a great idea. I saw somebody dust Go off ahead. a hamstick. Apparently been in the freezer for about three years. Okay. It looked a little freezer burnt. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, what is being freezer burnt? So your freezer goes through thaw free cycles. It's just a natural part of how that freezer is. And since it's pretty small, typically a lot of things will start to thaw. And then as it refreezes, it'll build ice crystals on that, which is okay. freezer burn. Okay. And the multiple times it goes through that freeze thaw cycles, Very cool. the ice crystals kind of build up on themselves and you know, it just kind of dr essentially dehydrates itself uh, through that freeze thaw cycle. That's why a lot of times things that are vacuum sealed tend to not do it as much because there's no oxygen in there, so it can't really do that. Um, but typically you got about a six month shelf life of stuff in the freezer. So there's about a six month shelf life. I mean, nothing's going to kill you after that, but I mean, you know, the as far as optimum quality, about six months. Okay, very cool. Very yeah. cool. I know I've got uh, about a year's year old deer meat in there, so I need to go ahead and start clearing that out, right? I would say good, good time to make some stew. Hmm, absolutely. Hmm. So today, what are we going to do? What are we going to show them? Well, we went to the grocery store and much like yourself, it was probably limited, limited pickings, it right? It was uh, yesterday, we made some manicotti. So we made some delicious manicotti yesterday. We posted that recipe up there. Some people had asked, so if you follow me, it's Very on cool. my, uh, my stories there. Um, but again, I went by the pasta aisle and literally the only noodle-esque item there was manicotti. And mm. it just so happened the only cheese in the uh, dairy case was ricotta. So it worked out okay. Very cool. But today we got some chickens. We got some actually really big chickens. Um, this is like a six pound chicken. Yeah, uh, like, I did a little bit of research and like I think the average size for a chicken in like 1950 is like two and a half pounds. Yes. I think the average size now is close to nine, so. It's uh, insane, yeah, this is like a massive chicken. So we're just gonna show you how to do either a spatchcock or an eight-way chicken. Eight-way. So, eight-way, so, yeah. So yeah. it's gonna be, you eight. know, leg thigh, leg thigh is four, and right. then wing is, uh, you know, five and six, and then breast is seven. Very sometimes cool. you might find the chicken already cut Frozen. up, or you got a whole chicken and you're like, how in the, Heck, am I going to cut this up? So. But, whole, but getting a whole chicken is definitely going to be cheaper. Absolutely, um, absolutely, um, for sure. And you have a lot here, so I prefer the whole chicken because I'll, if I'm going to do a spatchcock, I'm going to save that neck, or sorry, that back uh, backbone, and I'm going to put it in my stock and make a delicious soup with it. Um, if I'm going to do the eight way, um, any sort of bits that come off, I'm going to save. And then anything, what I'll do is um, I'll cut the meat off, keep the bones. Okay. So don't put the bones on the people's plates. And I can take those bones and cook them down and make a really nice stock as well. And maybe utilize that in a soup or a sauce or something like that. And that way, again, you're getting the best bang for your buck with you know, whole chicken. Very cool. And some people like to go ahead and take all of the skin off and put it in that same pile as all the bones. Um, and cook those down and, and help that broth uh, or base get a lot more flavor to it. I want to eat that skin, though. Yeah, man, me too. Me too, for sure. Best part uh, of the but you're essentially gonna. Well, you don't need to spatchcock it now. No. You want to do um, eight ways on these? Yeah, sure. Let's show uh, the folks. Uh, All right. To do so that eight way chicken. You can either use a cleaver. I like a cleaver. Any sharp knife is gonna work. Yep. Um, if I'm cutting through bones, I want the cleaver one because typically it's a stronger edge, and I'm not gonna worry about chipping something. So one of my delicate slicing knives, I'm probably not gonna use for doing that. Okay. Um, but the chicken will give you the road map, and you can see there's kind of fat seams in between the leg and thigh that are darker than the rest. That's where you want to cut. 
Okay, very cool. So all you gotta do is just take your knife, and again, we'll just follow that seam and kind of cut it open a little bit. Yeah, and it opens up like a little air pocket. Yep, and then you can even dislocate that hip, and then, again, you can see that bone right there, and just take that knife right through the back. Very cool. And again, you're gonna go right through that bone. Well, can we get an update, Chef John? How's everybody doing out there? Everybody's doing great, Jody. Uh, they're just talking about, they want to know if we're still doing after hours tonight, which yeah, of course yeah. we will be, you know. Absolutely. Uh, they're super, they're just talking about what they've cooked. We got some uh, cranberry nut bread being made right now. I like it. We've got uh, <clears throat> some people talking about their 3 2 one method they're using for their family. It's just good times out here. Very cool, very cool. But yeah, guys, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, if you've never seen any of our videos before. My name is Jody Flanagan. I'm your Rec Tech Girls expert. Uh, to my to my right is going to be Chef Greg. To your to my left, your right is going to be uh, Chef Greg Muller, our Director of Culinary Innovations. And then on the ones and twos over there to our right is going to be Chef John Pinnell, uh, one of our culinary innovators here at Rec Tech Grills. And we really do appreciate you joining us. We're going to try to break up your day uh, for the foreseeable future and give you a little bit more content, a little bit more ideas. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. We will try our damnedest to get to them. Um, I ultimately just want to hang out with you guys. Yeah. Absolutely. We just wanted to hang out and ask a bunch of questions, get a bunch of answers. Um, so, uh, again, uh, put in the comment section down below uh, something that you have in your freezer that you don't know what you're going to do with. If you need some suggestions on how to cook, how to thaw, uh, different things of that nature, and uh, we will definitely get to them. Uh, I know right now I was able to purchase a couple of loaves of bread, and a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually freeze your bread Absolutely. and uh, help... Uh, Hope it lasts a lot longer. So I was able to pick up a couple of loaves. Don't worry, there was a bunch to choose from uh, when I went this morning. Um, and I was able to freeze a couple of them. So that's a, that's a cool little tip uh, for those folks out there that are able to get a couple extra loaves of bread. Nice. So again, we just went and cut the uh, leg and thigh off, and now I'm going to cut the breast portion. So again, that would have been the leg quarter. And right. this would be your split breast. So if you go to the grocery store and see what split breasts are, it's just this. It's basically split off the rib cage. Right. It's got the wing attached. And you so. can essentially take all of that meat off, cook it. What I do uh, a lot of times with chicken breast is I save it for sandwiches because, mm -hmm. of course, it's a lot leaner. Uh, so I like to slice it very, very thin uh, and pile it high yep. for sure. And again, there's no real meat there on the backbone, but again, great uh, flavoring for some delicious soup and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. But again, this chicken uh, was a whole chicken. It was about a six-pound chicken. It was a big chicken. That we picked up from the store, mm -hmm. uh, and we are going to... Marinate it. Yeah. Cook it on the rec tech. What are we going to cook this chicken at, Chef? We'll Ray? go uh, 350. We're cooking on the RTB okay. created bullseye. Um, anything over three, 300, no. 325 will give you good crispy skin. Um, this is going to take, you know, maybe maybe about an hour or so. Now this breast is big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it down a little bit because I want this breast to be done the same time the leg and thigh is. Okay. So we're going to cut this down a little bit. To about the same about size the as same everything size. else. For sure. Very cool. And again, this will give us more than enough because. I mean, one person isn't going to eat this. I mean, that's a big old clutter. That's a big piece of meat, for sure. Yeah, so we'll just cut it down a little bit, and then Jody. we can uh, marinate them up and cook them off. Yes, sir, Chef John. Chris wants to know, is that a gallon size barbecue sauce? That is a gallon size barbecue sauce. That is uh, just for us because we open up a lot of the little bitty guys. Um, don't want to be wasteful. Yep, don't want to be wasteful. So uh, we got ourselves some of the gallon sized um, barbecue sauces, but it may be coming soon. You never know. But again, if you want to go through the leg and thigh, and this, this is a, this chicken's even bigger. Again, you'll see that fat seam between the leg and the thigh. And if you go right in between that joint. Man, it's just smooth as butter, man. Yep. We'll cut this, some of this fat off. And again, that's good stuff right there. That's a big old leg right very there. Very cool, very cool. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to introduce, um, what is this, eating out? or what? Lunchtime. <laughs> Lunchtime? Lunch break. Lunchtime. <laughs> Lunch, Lunch break. Time. <laughs> Lunch break at Rec Tech Grills. Uh, so we're going to be doing this for the foreseeable future mm -hmm. at noon Eastern Standard every day. So make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. We also go live every Monday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. Chef John uh, does backyard and beyond, uh, usually does it in a beautiful backyard. Sometimes it's at Ray's house, sometimes it's not. Uh, so make sure you check those out. He had a great episode this week. Uh, we got to see Ray in yeah. the flesh hopping yeah. around, so that was pretty cool. 
Uh, every Wednesday we do after hours. You get to meet Holmes and David Hopkins. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, the whole Hopkins family. Every Wednesday we do after hours at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, mm -hmm. uh, of course. And then don't forget about product spotlight 4 p.m. every Thursday. Every and then Thursday. of course uh, the icing on the cake fun day Friday where we have a great time. Uh, start to finish, left to right, up to down at noon every Friday, uh, right here live on the Rec Tech Grills Facebook page. Make sure you smash that share button, give us a like, give us a love. Put any questions that you have in the comment section down below. What Chef Greg is doing right now is he's breaking uh, these whole chickens down uh, eight way, eight ways, essentially. Uh, okay. They're like having, ways now. He's essentially the having the quarters. Hey, huh? Jody, a little we have bit a of math? question. Josh wants to know if there's anything special he has to do to thaw a 15-pound Packer brisket. Oh, man, of course, buddy. You are going to want to take some uh, precautionary steps. Uh, we, of course, recommend thawing under uh, running water. You want to get yourself a large enough basin to where you can fit that whole Packer brisket in it and submerge it in water. And make sure that's cold running water. Correct. So, again, get your tap water as cold as it can be. You're looking for that to be at least 70 degrees cold. If for some reason you've got warm tap water, now I live in a well and that water comes out like literally 36 degrees. Right. It is warm tap cold. Water. Uh, if you have warm tap water, um, you can always put some ice, and this probably sounds stupid to try to thaw it, put some ice in there and keep it running the entire time. It doesn't need to be like overflowing, it needs to be at least be dripping so that you've got uh, very some important surface to be dripping. On very, there. very important. Yeah, you want to keep that water moving. And again, if it gets warm, you can drain it off, add some ice in there. But and that's going to be your quickest way to thaw it as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the power thaw method for sure. Um, if not, again, the safest thing is under refrigeration, but obviously extreme, extreme times call for extreme measures. Right. So go ahead and uh, just put it under cold running water. You'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. For sure. But make sure, of course, you submerge it in water as well because mm -hmm. cold running water, yep. it's eventually going to get the temperature it is outside. So for watch sure. out for that. Yep. So we got our chicken here. We've got some of that golden Italian dressing. Man, and we I'm, have been using that golden Italian dressing well, for we, everything because we got a bunch of it. We bought a bunch for Rectech. And that, that may happen to you. So and, you know, uh, use you that same to. technique, everybody. You have to. I mean, you can use anything. You can use, honestly, ranch, Caesar, any uh, vinaigrette. It doesn't all right. matter. All right. All right. You brought it up, so I'm going to start talking about it. Ranch girl? When I went to the grocery store, I saw Hidden Valley has rebranded the ranch packets into ranch seasoning. So it's kind of like the, it's it's the exact same thing. Don't Asian, get fooled. <laughs> Don't get fooled like I did and think it would come out like a Rectex seasoning. It's straight up pretty much just powder. Um, but it's darn good on Chex Mix. That bold Chex Mix, I'm really disappointed in it. It's not too bold. So I put some of that ranch seasoning in it, and it definitely kicked it up a notch uh, but don't be fooled you know it's even better than that by the hidden valley ranch because it's just the ranch packet in maybe, a in a bunch in it maybe you got some slightly stale checks mix at the house go ahead and rectechrolls.com we get that dirty rex mix but what slightly stale yeah i mean it could be left over from like thanksgiving two years oh, ago oh i got you so we can like spruce that rectech and make, it and make your checks mix fresh again very cool a little melted butter a little whooshish Worcestershire. Make that. I can say A little it. dirty girl. That was the greatest. That, that video is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got yeah. some good entertaining Yesterday things. was St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Uh, also your anniversary and John Dillon's birthday. Man, what a what a great day it was, I tell you. Lots of fun. I took the day off while Greg cooked manicotti, right? I said that mm -hmm. right? You did. Uh, but yeah, it was John Dillon's birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. He's three years old, the big three. Um, so he looked like him. he had fun at Papa's house. He did, he did. We did a little bit of uh, social distancing, and we went to Pop Pop's house. Pop Pop's house is in the middle of nowhere out in Harlem, Georgia. We rode the tractor, uh, hung out with the pigs and goats and stuff, and he had a good time. Was he digging a hole like the tractor looked had like a front end loader attachment on it? Oh yeah, they were actually spreading dirt, like leveling out this pasture that my dad has, so it, awesome. it'll grow uh, grass. <laughs> yeah, we. But yeah, Not you guys. Not John thing to do. With it. He's going to keep spreading. Dirt. Right, for sure, for and sure. Papa's going to let him. Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, but you guys, make sure you follow us on social media. That way, you can see what we are doing behind the scenes, when we're, what we're doing on our days off, the weekend. You can actually see if we really do cook on the Rectex. We do a lot. We really do. Um, but that's a really cool way to kind of get an insider behind the scenes uh, look at uh, what's going on here at Rectech. You know what? Also, is a great way. 
uh, to get some behind the scenes uh, action to sign up for that newsletter at rectechgirls.com. Uh, just scroll all the way down yep. to the bottom, put your email in where it says become an insider and for you're good sure. to go for sure. For sure. Um, but these are done. Like That's you it. did that. You, I mean, in 15 ish minutes yeah. that you, you broke it, broke both chickens down. Mm -hmm. Slowly. You slowly. You I didn't, I didn't Martin Yan it. But if you want some really good entertainment, you can go on the YouTube and like type in Martin Yan. Oh, I thought I thought that was chicken. a French word. Martin no, Yan. Martin Yan. Two words. Sounds yeah, like, like a the Yan can cook. Yeah. Great oh. show. So can you? <laughs> he would cut a chicken in like six seconds. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that, but I Yan can cook. So can you? Right. I do remember that on GPTV. What about you, uh, Greg? I mean, uh, John. <laughs> Yes, I oh, totally do. Totally do. I go way, way back. I way, love way the old back. cooking shows like that. Julia too. Child, Jacques Pepin, you know, um, Justin the, Wilson. Justin Wilson, I guarantee. Love Justin that Wilson. was fantastic. But again, this can be done ahead of time. You can be do it, you know, let's say you get the chicken from the store, you want to cut it up, put it right on the grill. It's fantastic. You want to do it in the morning, great way. Show the kids. And I'm kind of, you know what, this whole social distancing thing is actually, you know, I think it's sometimes kind of like a blessing. We, I think, take for granted some of the things that right. teachers do for our children and, and educators in general. And I saw some really funny posts that uh, the teachers had made about, you know, kids getting in-school suspensions. Yeah, I was just about to and say that, guys. You know what I mean? First kid skipped class, got ISS. God, you know, and uh, teachers now are, are drinking on the job because they have to. Um, <laughs> so all of those educators out there definitely <laughs> yeah, shout give out. you guys a shout out and a huge props because, you know, they're busy getting lessons. Good job, NKK. The they're out there trying to help educate our youth. Right. And, and then um, they, had to, they had to cram that two to three weeks or however long the kids are going to be out they had to print all of that stuff they had yeah. to get it ready they had to put it into workbooks forever all the upload kids upload it to the internet so you could download yourself right. julie printed out stuff for the kids and i want to say she was over like 100 pages right for right. three kids they're doing a great job those teachers for sure. trying so, to educate um, and, and keep keep it going um but i heard a really good tip today uh from an educator um who actually said uh routine Kids love the routine. So do, you know, if you had a good day today, do exactly what you did uh, every day from there on, and the kids will get into that routine, and they'll yep. understand, uh, and they'll actually enjoy it because they know what's coming up. You know, Absolutely. there's no anxiety. And you can get uh, a schedule together, you know, go ahead, you know, start the day, have breakfast, and don't forget outdoor activities. It's safe to go outside. It's a great time of year, especially yeah. down south, to build a garden. Oh, I mean, it's, what, it's planning time right now. We've got to get a rec go tech outside, garden going, John. Build a, build a garden, hang out, get That's outside. Right. Maybe not so much breathe the pollen air, but if you're not allergic, get outside and maybe go for a walk. Take the dog for a walk. Wash, wash the car. I don't know. Right. Chores is a very important part of the day, too. <laughs> but we're doing this at 350 degrees on the on the uh, RTB 380 bullseye, right? Yeah. You know but you could also, if you wanted to, leave it in the pan and do it in your oven. You sure could. At home mm -hmm. or any other of our Rectech grills. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Again, anything over 325 degrees will give you good crispy skin. Um, let's say you're in no rush. You want to go lower? Fantastic. Let's say you're in a rush. 400 for you know about 45 minutes to an hour again internal temp's going to be key here because this was a big chicken right so if you've got smaller chickens where you're at again jody said earlier a lot of times they can range anywhere from three and a half pounds up to eight or nine pounds cheese and um, crackers definitely do not buy that nine pound chicken try to deep fry it like chef john does because it'll never cook it'll it'll be in the grease forever so if you want to make <laughs> some really good chicken one of john's uh really good recipes out there uses a smaller chicken um you get that right. oven roaster Man, I tell you what. That's you put, why you they call that, it an oven roaster. You put that oven stuffer. Ooh. Oven you stuff. put that oven stuffer in grease. It's going to take forever to cook. But um, Microwave packer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this outside, right? All right. Um, but uh, one cool story I did read about uh, while trying to get some facts for you guys was actually in Spain. The police are using drones to yell at people. Uh, because they have limited uh, they, uh, the Spanish folks' activity. They want them to stay indoors. So the police have actually you know, hired drones to follow people around uh, and kind of uh, reprimand them and say, get back inside. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, they put little microphones up to them. It's pretty cool. So, uh, But Chef John, we got any uh, good questions or anything out there from the folks uh, on Facebook land? Actually, there was a good question for Greg. They wanted, they, they, people are saying there's some talk about people wrapping their lids on their Rectech grills, and people want to know is that is there anything beneficial? Wrap, wrapping oh, your lid. Day. Stickers. With stickers? Yeah. Well, well there's there's no benefit to wrapping your your grill in a sticker. Uh, it just makes it look cool. 
Um, but you may be talking about the gasket material that lines the lid. Uh, I can't tell you how many folks call here complaining about temperature issues right after they put the gasket material on. Again, if there was a benefit to it, we would do it here at the warehouse. We it would charge you for it. Every pennies on the dollar. Come standard with Correct. it, but you don't need it. No, they're designed uh, without that lid gasket material, so we recommend not putting it on there. It's also a pain in the butt to have to replace in a year because it does break down, uh, so you will have to get uh, some of that replacement stuff. But Greg's checking those chickens on the RT700 right now. And again, you could do this on the inside of your oven if you wanted to. Not a big deal. We did these at 325 degrees. They're getting close, but the warehouse guys are kind of lazy. So I want to do this. This is number one tip. Turn, Turn it, up. it up. We'll go ahead and crank this up to 375, probably 10 minutes. 15 right. minutes, will be done. So we did 325 for about an hour. They, yeah, we put them on at what, 10? So about uh, a little after 10, so about two about hours. About two hours? Yeah. Jay, they were, what uh, kind of pellets are we using? Oh, the only pellet we, we are ever using use? the ultimate blend, uh, the mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory blended together. The perfect combination of those three woods yeah. uh, to give you the most amazing flavor. For and sure. again, the oak and hickory mixed together is not overpowering. Uh, it's very subtle. Yep. Uh, it gives you a great flavor, and it helps flavor the food uh, without overpowering it, for sure. Yep. And like I said, one th cool thing about the BFG is, let's say you're feeding an army, you have your own rec tech fest. Right. You're gonna, you know, maybe get all the food from your neighbors and cook for everybody, which is not a bad thing because if there's any better time to embrace your community, it's during something like this. Jody might have all the toilet paper. I might have all the pasta. Barter GM system. Ben might have all the sauce. Oh, reach out Ben's to got your, the sauce. Reach out to your neighbors got the sauce. and talk. Right? There's no better time to share everything than amongst your community. Yeah. So maybe if you're a little more fortunate, reach out and try to help out those that aren't. Maybe you're really fortunate. You got a BFG. You can fill that bad boy up with food. We got a couple pans of stuffing mix in Ooh, here. Oh, yeah. So we could easily fit six pans of stuffing like that. Or Absolutely. if I rotated these uh, long ways, you can fit eight pans. That's a lot of that food. That is a big old grill, man. 2,500 square inches of cooking service. That's a big freaking grill. Wow. But wow. again, reach out to your neighbors. Maybe the, you know you got a bunch of pork butts. It's funny you said that. Pork butts go a long way. You know, spend the time cooking. You know, break it down, package it. Maybe you've got some seniors that live around you. Go ahead and reach out to them too. Right. They might not be all tech savvy, but reach out and make sure they don't need something as well because they right. are, point, you know, right. can't get out. And, and uh, uh, there's a gentleman actually in California. He's actually uh, set up a corner to where people are dropping off goods. And he is actually distributing them from the corner. So if there's an elderly person, That's awesome. uh, they're actually able just to swing by and say, hey, I need toilet paper. I need some peanut butter. And he can throw them in the car, which is a really cool thing to For do. Sure. And, you, and you were seeing a lot more folks, yep. uh, seeing a lot more positive than negative Absolutely. if you look for the positive Absolutely. for sure there's a lot of there's a lot of restaurants out there that also have food trucks and granted we can't go dine at these restaurants uh in their cap uh, in their dining rooms which we get um but they're going out on the road they're bringing that food with them they're serving the youth the elderly right and definitely the best thing you can do is support your community so maybe keep your food in your freezer keep that food in that pantry the trucks are still running they're still delivering supplies <sighs> uh, we never do that they never honk anymore. I don't know if they can see us. No, he totally he made eye contact Did with he? me, Greg. Yeah. That guy He's, made eye contact with me and he, and he failed to honk. The child in me just died. I know. There's nothing more gratifying than driving on the highway, doing one of these. Right. And, and old they, buddy, they get excited yeah. and they pull on the horn. Right, 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 That's the way to do That's it. That's awesome. But so, a lot of those food trucks are out there, you know, delivering food. Go buy buy some tacos, buy yeah. some sandwiches. Right now is the best know. time to support the local businesses Absolutely. for sure. Uh, yes, Chef John, you got an amazing question from yes. an amazing person out there. If people are running low on their pellets, you know, and they do not live in the CSRA, what is the best thing for them to do? So Lowe's, Home Depot, Academy, Ace Hardware, Dick's Sporting Goods, Walmarts, uh, Costco's, BJ's, uh, Bucky's. Man, I could go for days. HEB. Kroger, Publix, all of those stores also carry pellets. Yep. Uh, and our grills are manufactured and made to run off of any brand of pellet. It's not going to forge your warranty not at all. Uh, to use any manufacturer of pellet. Um, so if, you know, unfortunately, you know, if you have to go out and about, you know, uh, pellets are yep. uh, and can be sourced at a local store. Uh, and our you. warehouse is open. We're shipping stuff all the time. Absolutely. So feel free. You know, again, get with your neighbors. Yeah, we I'm haven't sure they've down. got Rectech grills in their backyard too. They might have other competitor pellet grills. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them. Maybe you guys do a big pellet buy and get a, 
you know, 200 pounds of pellets delivered and maybe right. you break it up. Yep. You know, you can still purchase things off of rectechgirls.com and you guys can still yep. come by our retail location uh, for sure. For sure. Um, but uh, there's a, another story out there that's kind of, it's kind of a, getting uh, swept under the rug, but old Tom Brady is probably going to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was talking, with, uh, with, talking with Brent yesterday. He's a huge man. Patriots fan. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't much care for the goats. Nobody hates Tom Brady more than I do. <laughs> but congratulations, Tom. Uh, uh, you are an, uh, an all-star, an MVP. Um, and I know you're going to watch this, and I know you're going to share it on your social media, and you're going to see this, but we really do appreciate you watching every week. Um, but I do have some stats here um, of Tom. Now, we're going to run would. We're gonna run right past the passing. We're going to run right past the playoffs. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go right to rushing, okay? <laughs> and uh, my man Tom Brady. Yeah. Oh, man. He's kind of a sissy behind the line. I'm telling you, they don't let him run too much. I don't Twelve think years. No, cheese and crackers. He's not the most mobile guy out there. Twelve, well, no, it looks like uh, 18 years, maybe? Cheese and crackers. However long he's played. 1,100 yards. That's it. That's I it. Have, I would have expected more from the good. I think he played in more than 1,100 games. Um, but, yeah, 285 games. 1,100 rushing yards. Some Hashtag people call him the GOAT. Not, I don't a, know. not a rushing quarterback. No, I can think of a couple things that rhyme with GOAT that I would call him. But uh, oh. defense and fumbles. Hmm. Out of 41 games, Tom Brady fumbled it 11 times, people. 11 times. What are you boosting this guy up for? 11 times out of 44 games. Not Cheese good. and crackers. No, uh, in all seriousness, Tom Brady is the GOAT. And uh, we wish him well in Tampa Bay. Yeah. I still think the Falcons are going to beat him twice next year. I still do. I still do. Well, you know. Is that really why you're so upset is because he's moving to your division, Jody? <laughs> I'm not upset. Yeah, but the, the Bucks have a <laughs> By any means. The Bucks have a pretty bad rest of the team, though. So. Correct. You might Correct. have to throw in the ball. Well, my boy. If, if they can't um, catch it. Yeah, what happened to the quarterback for the Bucs? I was I just like about, I was just, what's going to happen to my boy? I can't think of his name right now. Somebody give it to me. He stole some crab legs <laughs> at Florida State <laughs> University at the Publix. Winston, yeah, Jameis Winston. Winston. What is going to happen with Jameis? Oh, man. I am, fiddle? Maybe he'll go to the Patriots. I don't know. I don't they probably know. have a better selection of seafood up in New England than they do down in Florida. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So back to the cooking, what this is about. No, uh, I liked where this was going. Okay, this was right. pretty entertaining. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I've got a couple of different things here for you guys, uh, a couple of uplifting stories. Today, today, this happened today. Emergency responders in Utah rescued a service dog that became stuck in a drainage pipe while out on an afternoon walk. And they, they had a, Salt Lake City, they had a 5.6 right. magnitude earthquake. Right, right, right. So please, everybody in that area, we our thoughts are with you guys. For sure. As it is with everybody across the United States and the world, um, but definitely those in the uh, Salt Lake City, Utah area with that earthquake. Man, I mean, sad. Five something, Come five on. something. John, what you got for us, buddy? The steak cook-off. S-C-A. Steak so the steak cook off here? Yeah, so we so still the, do the that. car show that was planned for the 28th that Saturday and the steak cook off that they were also sponsoring. And again, that's going to be the advanced auto parts of the CSRE. That event has been canceled. If you're looking for additional information to that, postpone. Make sure, postpone. 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 Make sure you jump over DTA. to their, their Facebook page. It's advanced auto parts dash CSRA. Yep. There's a phone number and more information for that. Uh, we were hosting that event here, but we really weren't planning and or had a lot of the logistics behind that. So those fine folks at the Advanced Auto Parts of the CSRA. Smart people. Absolutely. Get, uh, postponing uh, reach that out for to sure. Them. They can give you more information on future dates or if you're looking for any additional information, uh, definitely reach out to them because other than being in the parking lot, yeah, that we kinda, really weren't... Uh, there's uh, going to be more than 10 people here. We weren't chairing that event. We were just uh, helping support the community as we do kind of all the time. Um, but my, my boy Jared Leto, you know I'm a huge fan of Jared Leto. Yes. Amazing actor, musician, yep. singer, songwriter. Multifaceted. Star child. Uh, he just woke up from a 12-day uh, silent meditation event 
and the cat didn't know what was going on. He woke up and said on Twitter, 12 days ago I began a, I began a silent meditation in the desert, star child. We were totally isolated, no phone, no communications. He, he said he had no idea what was happening outside the facility. I wonder what was going on inside the facility. That's what I want to know. But David Wright would be there. Um, but he Probably walked, some uh, psychedelic cactus. He walked out yesterday into a totally different world. Boy, you took the, the words right out of my mouth, Mr. Jared Leto. But I, my wife and I found that very, very funny. That For sure. Of course, he was you know, out somewhere meditating, and he didn't know what was going on in the world. Cheese and crackers, Now he's Jared got to stay Leto. 14 days inside, secluded and uh, self-quarantined. He's got a movie coming up. Uh, he's going to star in a new movie. I do not have any details. Totally forgot the name. Sorry about that. Uh, but he does have a new movie coming out for all you Jared Leto fans out there. Yeah. All right, John, what you got for us, buddy? Uh, one of our top fans, Brad Sanoa. I'm hoping Brad, his what's name up, bro, right. Brad? He, he wants to know if Jody's going to shave his beard because he heard virus can thrive in all that hair. Virus, that, that is a very good uh, public service announcement I want to address right here and right now. That is a sanitary, well-oiled, well-manicured, <laughs> well Appreciated. Excuse me, I should have coughed into my elbow, but Beard I didn't. Right there. Oh. Yeah. But every time yeah. the wind blows, like 400 pounds of pollen. Just but come you out guys, of it. you gotta wash. You gotta wash yourselves daily. Uh, I recommend using bar soap. You know, starting the bubbles, getting the bubbles good and going, and then doing that number right there. Getting your fingertips just like you are, washing your head, and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, but no, beard's not coming off. Beard got trimmed though. I'm glad everybody noticed. Yeah, Beard did get trimmed. Good, looking good. Uh -oh. We just turned that RT700 up to 375. It's already at 375. Cheese and crackers, Greg. And know, the wind's blowing. Up. The fans are on. The deck is being It says it's about 70 degrees out here. It's a beautiful day out. Gosh, it's beautiful. You guys can see the waves of pollen uh, crashing like waves of water. Those, those chickens look absolutely amazing. Again, you guys can do this at home in your oven if you need to we started at 325 degrees for a couple hours then we cranked it up to 375 and we're just waiting for that perfect internal temperature of above 165. it's real close usually uh, we shoot for 170 175. uh in the leg and thigh absolutely Correct. um the beauty of either you know uh spatchcocking them or cooking halves is you're gonna open up a lot more heat to get into the leg and thigh portion more of surface that chicken, area as well and that's gonna more smoke absolutely and plus when you cut it up to serve it you get to eat all the skin. It's the best part of the chicken, people. Right, for sure, for sure. Um, so the, since the chicken's not ready. Well, we can pull this off. Okay, um, our friends, uh, you guys probably know this and have seen our grills on uh, the show Let's Make a Deal. Uh, of course, we'll be coming, uh, we were part of the season 11, we'll be part of season 12 as well, but they just broke a Guinness World Record for uh, making the largest working uh, water gun. They really? made it as a prop, and it's actually working. And, act, and so um, they are. They broke the Guinness World Record um, at 12 feet and 7.75 inches long. That's a super soaker. That is a huge super soaker, and it did look like, you know, a super soaker. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. And then uh, the uh, last little feel good <laughs> good story I've got for you for the day. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it from the boys on that one. Um, so a hard hat. This is the unedited version. So a hard hat fell into the mighty Mississippi River, River in 2015. It was decorated in LSU, uh, tiger stickers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it was actually found 4,300 miles away Good on Lord. a beach in Ireland. Whoa. Um, How did it get from the Mississippi to Ireland. Correct, correct. Um, the person that found it used social media to track down the owner, and it is actually traveling right now back to the owner all the way from Ireland. That's How, super cool. That is super That's awesome. Cool. And it was a, it was a, uh, it was, you know, obviously a, a construction helmet. It was a hard hat, um, but the owner of it, you know, that was like his first job. I dig it. Uh, and he paid, you know, uh, X amount of dollars for this super awesome hard hat, got it customized, fell off his head, and now he's getting it back. Nice. All right, let's pull story. this chicken off. Pull that chicken, buddy. So I'm going to take that pan and rest it right there. Chef tip. Because my, and we'll just kind of pile these up. Look how good John, you got any good questions or any good comments from any of our wonderful folks watching? 
Everybody was going a little crazy with your um, Tom Brady information. Oh, I'm sure yeah, I'm going to yeah, get a little yeah, hate yeah, for that, that but that's okay. I'm hate. sure there was a bunch of 28 threes in there, wasn't there? <laughs> that was uh, Matt Lane and I went to New Orleans uh, this weekend uh, for a little trip to the HPBA, and uh, there were probably about three bars that had the 28 3 flag uh, because they're, of course, Saints fans, the Ain't fans. You want to grab that one? I'll grab this one. Go back inside. Sure. Come Let's on. do it. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, yourself, Jody. I got chicken juice in my shoe. That's some juicy chicken. Mmm. Man, this looks good. Man. So you What's guys up, probably Stevie? haven't seen this guy in a little while. People have been asking. People have been where asking where Stevie's been. Come on over here. You can stand right between us because we've both got these uh, mic let me, let microphones. Me here, let me scoot it down Stevie a little down. bit. Um, but if you guys didn't know, this is Stevie Fredericks, our purchasing manager, uh, aka Ray's little buddy. Ray's little buddy. Yeah. And uh, he was just caught uh, in camera's sight. He was caught on the hot set, hot so he's being included. <laughs> no, we're not videoing. We're just, we're just having fun. We're having we're lunch. We're having lunch. With folks out there on Facebook. And right. I got to feed you so they can come join us, too. I already ate. What did you uh, eat, buddy? Fill us in. Black beans. It was good. With a little chow chow that Fred made for me. So I cooked you lunch Man. on Monday and Black Tuesday. Black beans. That was like the last thing I figured you would say. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger, hey, McDonald's. Hey, Stevie. Black the Black beans just came out. Stevie. <laughs> Everybody really wants to know, are you really shorter than Chef Greg? Is that possible that you could be shorter than Chef Greg? That's funny. That's <laughs> funny. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, look at this juice come off this chicken. Man, you knocked like, it out of the park, buddy. Nice juice. But it, mm. that juice wouldn't be possible without the, the Rectech 2500, I'm telling you. Uh, the Ultimate Blend Pellet, just giving that chicken the juiciest and the flavor. only way i'm able to hold this other than being extremely manly with good hands is, is hot gloves so manly come on you come on you guys come on what's in up here. C -Lark, you wanna, we're you just having we're just having lunch with everybody out of facebook C -Lark so. in the house this stuffing does look delicious this looks like cornbread stuffing mm -hmm. is that what it was it is bread? in fact yeah so then to uh get it off i just take your uh look out i mean it's like just coming apart right there man it is cutting like stevie's I don't know. I was trying to think of something. I couldn't think I don't know where you're going with that one. But. <laughs> I don't know. All right. But we're going to go ahead and just cut the legs and thighs up. And, uh, man. Now, here's a good uh, point to make. Um, there looks like to be a little bit of pinkness in that, Chef Greg. Does that mean that that chicken is undercooked? Definitely not. This chicken is perfectly cooked. We tempt it with our thermo pen, and uh, it is perfect. Shout out to the folks over there at ThermoWorks. Dude, they, uh, they hooked it up. See, Lark, What's how up, you doing? Buddy? Are you hungry, buddy? If you guys joined us at Rec Tech Fest, this guy, co headliner, C mm, yeah. Lark. Killed it, too. Killed it. Co headliner. He started Killed performing. It. He had a badge and everything. Uh, that he was super stoked. He had the employee badge yeah, and, the, and the uh, entertainment badge. But I mean, hey, that's life, right? Had to work, had to perform. See, Lark, tell the people where you're going to be next, man, performing. Yeah, come on in between Greg and I because we both have a, we both have a mic. Come on in between on. Greg and I. We both have a mic. So uh, let me ask you a question that only folks of your stature can answer. Uh, how many grills have you guys been moving today? Today we moved, what, 100, 100, 100 Oh, my gosh. And, that is, <laughs> and that's before 1 o'clock Eastern Standard. These guys are working their butts off here. Um, but uh, explain to me what that chicken looks like. It looks good. I'll tell you that. Um, I think anybody that uh, gets a piece of it's going to enjoy it. Oh, very good, very good. Now, uh, uh, with a man that's that's grammarly uh, good as you are, I'm not very good at that. Uh, one word that you could pull from your hat. No, 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 of no. Words not to a describe word. it. We're talking to a, a world class, <laughs> free flowing grand champion oh, wordsmith wrong. over here. World. So grand here's champion. what we're going to do. We're going to challenge Sea Lark. Okay. He's got to eat a piece of chicken. Then he's got to give us at least a 30 second freestyle 30 on how good the chicken freestyle. is. Freestyle. Oh, All right, let's, let's do, let's do, uh, let's do 15. We've got everybody, guys. We've got everybody, guys, we got everybody around here. I've been cooking you guys lunch. I love it. I appreciate it. The least, I can, the least we can do is expose everybody to the sea lark world out there. First, before, is before you finish the chicken, yeah, where can they find you? 
Dude, you can find me on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah. It's Lark Music, L A R K M U S I K. You spell my name C Lark. C dot L A R K. Um, or come see you here at Rec Tech. Or come see you here at Rec Tech. Come here. We'll do something in the warehouse. <laughs> Co a collab? <laughs> a collaboration? Yes. Of sorts? Cameras. Okay. All right, you, you about ready? You need a second taste to, to hopefully the rap can live up to the chicken, because that's my hope. See, Lark. If not, you ain't get lunch. See, Lark. See, Lark. See, Lark. See, Lark. Man, you've got the fans Lark. back there cheering for you, man. <laughs> it's uh, the bright <laughs> he, lights. He honestly, uh, is, it, is this an Eminem moment? Is this a B-Rabbit moment? <laughs> I mean, eight miles. Are you about to throw on. up mom's spaghetti right now? <laughs> Hot and heavy. <laughs> Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Chicken on your sweater already. Mom's chicken spaghetti. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. <laughs> everybody, give him a round of applause. That was C-Lark. Yeah, C -Lark he does a, we appreciate him for, yeah, man, thank you guys so much. Thank, I guess it's a good thing. Again, to thank y'all. Really thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all work your butts off. But we if really you really want to see him do some, uh, some good stuff. Real. Some maybe more rehearsed. Real stuff. Produced you know. stuff. See, got some good videos. Look him up on the internet. Walking down downtown Augusta. He's checking you know. his likes it's right James now on Brown. Instagram. It's blowing up. They actually just went down. Oh. <laughs> uh, ah. Hi yeah. And that was your dad joke of the day. Hey, Brought yeah, to you man. by uh, 1907. 1907 uh, New Zealand water. water. Delicious. But we got some delicious uh, stuffing, some chicken for the guys. Again, it's all about just cooking what you got, celebrating your friends and family, keeping everybody safe around you. All right. Wash um, your hands. Embrace your community. We are keeping all of our employees safe here. Um, kind of keeping everybody separate, feeding them lunch, and having a good time. That's right. Wash your hands. Cough into your elbows. Uh, all of that good stuff. Keep your distance. Three feet. Uh, make sure you join us tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard. We're going to do the same thing, but it's going to be a different recipe for yep. you. You guys can do this in any apparatus at your home. Uh, we did this 350 recipe done degrees. with capons, with turkeys, with chickens, with quail, with Cornish game hens. Any poultry that you can find at the grocery store or in your fridge or freezer, you can definitely do this recipe. Super simple. Again, Easy internal peasy. temp. All about poultry. Anything over 165, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. The leg and thighs, uh, it'll definitely benefit you to go a little bit hotter, maybe 170, 175, because, again, right. that dark meat has a little bit more fat to it. It definitely gets a, a little bit more tender. And another thing about chicken, time. don't worry about, oh, nope. don't worry if you see a little pink in the middle. Um, that is okay. Ugh. Um, that is safe uh, to see, just as long as it's 165. <laughs> Jeez, and crackers, y'all. For um, Johnny Flanagan, for Chef John, and myself, and all of us at the Rec Tech family, we look forward to seeing you again tonight. Uh, we'll be going live at 7 o'clock. We'll be doing, uh, should we tell them what we're doing or keep it a surprise? Uh, let's keep it a surprise. That keep way they tune in. It's going to be really good, but join us again. I appreciate you spending your lunch break with us here. We might be giving something away. We might be announcing winners. So make sure you tune in. Set your notifications. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Uh, and we will see you at the Rec Tech. Do, Come on, guys. Do, let's get do. lunch. Do, do, do. Hey, guys. Thank you so much do, for watching do, us right do. now. We really do appreciate Rick it. Rick Rad to know you out there, baby. And Doug it. Wilkerson, the sun starts going down. Marcus Wood, Little wash your hands, you dirty. You like. uh, uh, who else is out there? Frankie style. Pruitt, Keith Lane, do, Ben do, Lowe, do, uh, John Martell, do, do, Tina Fisher, do, do, Lark do, do, Music, that's right, Lark Music, Brent Baker, Rodney. Style.